Hello guys and uh, today we'll see how we can add tape pricing to the products within the WooCommerce web store. So by making use of the WooCommerce tape based pricing plugin, now the WooCommerce web store admin can add multiple set of product rules for the tape based pricing and can apply them uh, to the products as well. Apart from that, a global rule for the tier pricing can be set up uh, that is applicable to all other products on which no tier pricing rule has been applied. On the other hand, the customers or the users can avail discounts by increasing the quantity of a product as visible on the product page based on the quantity given in the tiered pricing. So I'll just show you the workflow at the customer's end and uh, then on the admins, how the admin can set up the tiered pricing there, the pricing rule for the products there. But before that, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then kindly do give it a thumbs up. Now here you can see that I'm at the storefront of the WooCommerce web store and I'm on one of the products, that's the hoodie with zipper. Here you can see the tier based pricing is visible. For example, if I'm adding only one product to the cart, you'll see that the product price of the product would be 45 pounds. But now if we are going to uh, purchase the products in bulk, as per the quantity that has been set, then we can avail the discount that has been set here. For example, if we are uh, purchasing a uh, product quantity between 101 and 200 and we are getting a discount of 20% that's around 9 pounds uh, are being uh, discounted there so let me go ahead and let me enter 101 and let me add it to the card now you can see that initially it was for uh, 45 pounds per, uh, per quantity there per unit uh, of the product but now because I'm purchasing 102 uh, quantities of the product there so we are getting uh, the price as 36 pounds that is the 20% discount now the admin can create the product rules and can set up the discount as fixed or percentage this is the fixed one that uh, this is the percentage one that we are checking right now and thereafter the customer can uh, uh, make a checkout the same is visible within the cart as well so if i go to the cart here we can see the particular discount received the price and the actual price and now the discounted price is visible along with the quantity there and the customers can then proceed to the checkout very easily and can receive the discounts there by purchasing the products in bulk that have been set up for the tiered pricing there so uh, on the checkout there they can then check uh, the uh, total amount and then they can just easily place the order for the respective product that they're going to purchase in bulk and get the respective discount along with it as well so here you can see that the order has been placed now and uh, here's the total number total amount that we paid out and here's the total number or the quantity of the product that we have purchased now let me take you to the admin backend panel and let me show you the initial configurations and the rest of the portion of this uh, feature on the admin's end so uh, for that i'll just log out of the custom account first and i'll be logging into the admin backend panel now so uh, after the successful installation of this particular plugin the admin will find the tier based pricing option on the admin side panel here and under that he has three different options one is the configuration other one is the product rules and the global rules so let's go to the configuration first this is the initial configuration that needs to be done and then we'll go to the product rules and the global rules thereafter so let me open the configuration in another page right now so here's uh, the uh, configuration page and here uh, we have three different options the very first one is to enable the WooCommerce tier based pricing uh, feature to enable it just check this option up to disable it uncheck the option then we have the option to enable or disable the uh, show tiered price in the cart as discount so if you want to show the uh, tiered price in the cart as discount so uh, you'll be able to see the actual price being cut out and the discounted price being uh, displayed within the cart to show that you can check this option otherwise uncheck this option to not show the same within the cart itself then you can sort uh, the 
uh, quantity there now here you can uh, select the sort option by which the tier based pricing table gets sorted in the uh, or on the product page so on the product page uh, the table for the tier pricing uh, would be sorted according to the quantity that goes from low to high or high to low okay so let me give an example for that so here's the price going from low to high we can do it from high to low as well from 300 to 10 or from 10 to 300 so uh, it's the uh, what do we say as uh, sort by quantity low to high so that's why it's showing uh, what we say as from low to high the quantity there thereafter you just need to tap here on the save changes button and we are done making the initial configuration settings now coming to the uh, product rules let's see how the admin can create the product rules uh, for his products so I'll just tap on that and here uh, the admin will find the complete list of rules that he has already created to add a new rule he can tap here on the add rule button so let's tap here on the add rule button now after tapping the add rule button the admin needs to select a product so from the drop down he can select a product for which he want to apply the uh, tier pricing so I'll go for the hoodie blue for example that fetches the price of the uh, product and the stock whether it's in stock or not now you can add multiple rules for this particular tier pricing uh, there so I'll just tap here on the add row now the admin needs to enter the rule name for example you can set it as test one now you'll have to enter the quantity from and to values so for example if I purchase the quantity between 20 and 30 and uh, this discount would be applicable to the guest users uh, to the customers or the registered users and the guests and the discount time would be whether you want to set it as fixed or percentage I'll go for fixed and we can set the discount amount here so I'll set the discount amount is 10 so now 10 discount amount would be given to the customers and the guest users if they are purchasing the product that's the hoodie blue uh, and if they are purchasing its quantity between uh, that's between 20 and 30 if they are purchasing it like 19 units they won't be able to get the 10 uh, fixed discount there so they'll have to purchase it as 20 or up till 30 only then they'll be able to get the discounted amount now under the user rules the users that you have selected here would only be able to receive these uh, discounts there and similarly if you want you can add uh, multiple uh, rules there as we were uh, checking there here you can see that we have created around three rules there uh, with different discounts and different pricings up there and uh, the same goes for here you can also enter more for example this two i'll set the quantity as between 30 and uh, 90 if i'm purchasing the quantity between 30 and 90 for the product hoodie then uh, if i'm a customer or if i am a guest user I'll get a percentage discount of 30% there and thereafter you just need to tap here on the save button and the product rule would be saved as you can see here that the product rule has been saved successfully for the hoodie blue that we had uh, just created and it has uh, two rule counts there apart from that the admin can delete any of the created uh, product rules by selecting the ones and tapping on the uh, drop down here choosing the delete and tapping the apply button thereafter apart from that the admin can uh, view any of the uh, created product rules so for example here we have the hoodie with zipper if i want to view it i can view it directly from here as well and this would appear like this to the customers as you can see here so that's how easily you can uh, view the ones that you just created instantly you can also edit anyone by tapping on the edit uh, link here and that would bring up the uh, particular uh, one so here you can see that i've set the winter discount winter discount and the quantity from and two values along with the user rules uh, uh the discount type of percentage the discounted amount for the same and the status as enabled for the same we can make a change there as per our own requirement there and uh, after setting that up just tap here in the save button to uh, save your changes there so that was about the product rules now coming to the global rules here you can create the rules that would be applicable to all of those products for which 
uh, none of the other rules have been applied or who don't have any rule applicable on them for them you can create the global rule and uh, it is just similar to the ones that we have just seen in the product rules so uh, to add a new one you just need to tap here on the add row button enter the uh, rule name set the quantity from and to values choose the uh, user rules for which you want to uh, enable this functionality of the discount so these like for example the customer and the guests can avail the discount if they are purchasing uh, the product uh, that is not having any product rule but is having a global rule applicable on that and uh, buying it between a 10 and a 30 quantity they will be getting a fixed or a percentage uh, discount and you can set it as 30 so a 30 dollar discount would be applicable uh, for the product that is being uh, purchased in bulk that is not having any other uh, uh, product uh, rule applicable but the global is applicable on that and after creating the rule you just need to tap here on the save changes button to save your global rules so uh, that was much about the woocommerce uh, tier based pricing plugin and i hope it helped you out in understanding the flow of the same if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements and kindly do reach back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com raise a ticket at webcooltuidus.com you can also contact us through https colon forward slash forward slash www.webcool.com forward slash contacts apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then kindly do give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead